these unusual looking aircrafts are creations of amateur engineers from Africa who have made their own jets and choppers, often just by using scrap metals and a lot of improvision. This is Joseph from Uganda, five year old creation. A homemade chopper built locally from scrap metals. He's a motorcycle mechanic and is about to take his homemade chopper for a test flight. The aircraft successfully takes off, but when it tries to land, this is what happens. From his compound in Nairobi, Kenya, Gabriel assembles aircrafts from scratch by researching on the internet. For a few glorious seconds, Upendo is airborne and then it crashes to the ground. Another dream dashed. And the elevator lifts the nose up or down, the nose of the aircraft up or down. So when you'd want to climb up, you would push the elevator up. He has made over 15 aircrafts by using car engines and the engines used to mill animal feeds. All the 15 aircrafts he has built have all failed to take off. If we are able to make it uh, three feet or four feet, we believe we'll have uh, moved a big step. So in a spirited mood, they gave the aircraft the push they thought it needed to gain momentum for takeoff. A crowd had formed, anxious to see a potentially historic moment. But just when it seemed ready to take the leap, it diverted from the runway and collapsed once again. Gabriel was heartbroken, but surprisingly, his spirit was unbroken. I'll go back to the drawing board and uh, design the loading gear better. But some do manage to take off for a few glorious seconds, then crash. For a few glorious seconds, Upendo is airborne and then it crashes to the ground. But that is not stopping this 47-year-old IT expert who has been making homemade aircraft. Gabriel is determined to see his dream of building and flying aircrafts finally take off from the ground. It will be easy for him to give up, but not until his dream takes off. Meanwhile, somewhere in Angola. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Levant 
Sim, senhores! Oh, ai, oh! Sim, senhores! Oh, ai, oh! Oh, ai, oh! This is Brooke, the most talented man in Ethiopia. He has worked hard and made his first homemade aircraft from aluminium and stainless steel that are locally available. This homemade chopper was built by Freddy in Kenya, who has never seen the inside of a school classroom. This aeroplane was invented by Fred Engineer and it is ready to fly. Uh, there are people who have already gotten their tickets. We are just about to leave. Uh, we are waiting for the travelers. They are about to arrive. Uh, we are about to leave. Uh, some, patches, some passengers have arrived. As you can see, some passengers have arrived. Uh, we are waiting for the others. The aircraft is made from aluminium, stainless steel, and carbon fiber. The chopper has a few years before it can fly, but it moves. He has faith that it will soon fly. We are waiting for the others. As they, will they will arrive as we, as we leave. Yeah. The aeroplane is ready. Meanwhile, somewhere in Ghana. Chris from Uganda built a rocket ship in his mother's backyard that is going to fly 80,000 feet above sea level, called the African Skyhawk. I'm Captain Chris Nsamba, and I'm the founder of African Space Research Program. It still has a long way to go, because the engine for this rocket ship is yet to be built. His volunteers appear to be willing to put their lives in his hands. As we take this project up, I expect to be one of the participating flying pilots for this project. The rocket ship is supposed to scan for meteorites and asteroids from Earth's lower orbit. Some may believe he's crazy, but he's not. People uh, around you who thought this man is a bit crazy, has funny ideas that that happened to you, and how did that happen? Yeah, very many things were not believed in. Um, this guy who, who designed the bulb, he made over a thousand bulbs because he could, before he could have one working right. So um, when you're doing such projects, you suppose the first thing you need to put it in your, in your head, do not listen to what they say. Because if you do, you're going to be so terrorized and you end up quitting. Hey, thank you so much for watching. My name is Kicks Lion, and if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing. If you really want to know something really interesting about Africa, click on the next video. Thanks.